Hi everyone, I'm just showing the orientation of a seed within the mango fruit and the embryo within the seed. Using the top where the stem is as a reference point, at the opposite end, slightly off center is the mango's beak. Tracing a line from the beak to the stem and keeping this edge of the mango to the left in this whole mango and this cutaway, the edge of the seed facing the left is noticeably more fibrous. Here on this seed, with the mango's fleshy pulp removed, we can see the fibers even clearer. On the more fibrous edge of the seed, closer to the top near the stem is where the husk will split when the seed starts to germinate. Here's a seed that started to germinate after I kept it moist for a week by splashing water on it twice a day. We can see where the husk has split and the root is coming out. Just above where the root originates from, we can see the embryo's pink or reddish stem starting to back its way out. At this time, I should mention that the strain of mangoes that I've been showing is called the white piri with its somewhat prominent beak. But not all strains of mangoes have beaks that are quite as pronounced. For instance, here's a raposa and its beak is somewhat flattened. But the concept remains the same. On the curved portion of the Raposa seed, up near the top end, on the edge that's more fibrous, this is where we can expect the husk to split and the embryo to emerge. Getting back to that germinating white piri seed, I'm planting it in the ground to be used as a grafting rootstock. One month later and it continues to do well. My plan is to graft the white piri variety onto it. Thank you for watching.